this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different, and it's more of a game. So what we're going to look at is a bunch of different scenarios where we have a snippet of code, and you'll need to decide if it is Ruby code or if it is Rails code. And so the general idea here is that a lot of times, especially as developers on the Ruby on Rails framework, if you don't do much Ruby, and if you're constantly working within the Rails framework, then there might be a lot of code that you are not familiar with as far as being Rails specific or if it is part of the Ruby core. And so in this episode, we're going to look at 20 different examples of different snippets of code, and we'll have to decide if it's Ruby code or if it is Rails specific. And admittedly, when I first started with Ruby on Rails, I did not know Ruby. I picked up Ruby along the way with my Rails knowledge. It's something that I wish that I had learned Ruby first and then dove into Rails. It would have made me a better Rails developer because I would have had a lot of the inherent things that we learned with Ruby that I could apply within the Rails framework. However, that wasn't my situation. And then I do create a lot of different kinds of Ruby scripts. And sometimes when I'm creating those scripts, I'll reach for something that was Rails specific that's not going to work within the script because it is a Ruby script only. And did you know that you can go to railsstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.